Venezuela, the country of backwardness. And yes, this guy is cutting palm trees, leaves beside power cables. And if one of them touches the cables, of course, he's gonna get zapped. So you guys wanna know what living in Venezuela is like? Well, you have tropical paradise, palm trees right behind me. But at the same time, you gotta fill the tank. But you set up on your roof, your house, so you have running water because running water does not work. So most people here have problems with uh, the normal running water system what they would have in their house. So they have things set up like what I have set up here, what is some um, pipes running down to my uh, pump room. And I have a gravity tank set up for gravity water. That's what we're doing around here. Oh, look. I think you can see it. I got an ant right at my chest. Look at that. Ah! So right here behind me, we have a water pump and a hydromatico system. A hydromatico system. I think that's what it's called in English. Um, we have this power system right here. And underneath me is the tank. Um, in this house, we have a 25,000 meter tank. That's quite a big tank for most houses here in South America and just in most houses here in Venezuela on Margarita Island. Um, 20 years ago when we originally installed the system, the system was a really good system, it worked perfectly, it uh, took up water to the both floors of, the floors of this house and we had water running to the whole house, no problem at all. Today it's a bit more complicated because this hydromatic system is more than 20 years old and of course it rusted at the bottom. We had sent the bottom to get fixed and rewelded, but in the time period when they're fixing the bottom of it, uh, automatically rust is still rusting in the inside and so we got more rust spots coming out um, we have one here on the left of the tank and then one on the back so the second I connected up the hydromatic system and I connected up the pump and I tried to fill it up with water and try to get one water running in the house um, I had the whole thing leaking and water running all over the place so needing to have running water in the house and getting super annoyed by t pulling out every day buckets of water out of the tank to flush the toilets and take showers, to wash dishes, and everything else. I had to set the system to have running water, so the only thing I could have done, and the only thing that kept in my mind at the, mo at the, mo at the moment I tried to do it, was to put a tank on the roof, on this, the back roof when I'm, when I'm right now underneath, and run up these pipes to the top. So one of these pipes goes directly to the pump, with this one, it goes all the way up to the top, and that's where the water comes out. And then we have this other one right here, was connected up also, as you can see, however we can get it connected. Um, that one runs directly into the water system of the house. And that one was uh, gives water to the house. And right here, if I open this up, we have running water. So yes, it runs water, but the water doesn't come out with much pressure. It comes out very really lightly, but at least we have running water. It works for washing all the dishes and for the shower. It would work for the toilet, but the toilet is broken. And so I still have to flush the toilet with, with buckets. It was super annoying and I find myself pulling out at least six, seven, eight buckets a day out of the tank just to flush the toilet. But that's better than pulling out 50 buckets of tank. But buckets of water out of the tank. That's what I was doing before. So one of the other crazy funny things we set up one of these days when we were working on the pump was this cable system right here. It took for ages every time we turned on the pump. We would pass the breakers. It would take like five or six minutes before the pump even turned on. It was super annoying. So we just connected a system that we can switch it off and on to make it way easier and we put these switches right there and that's probably super secure and probably super dangerous probably could melt and all the rest of it but it works so for now we're just gonna have it like that and hopefully nothing bad happens I just finished cleaning up the kitchen a bit with the water I was able to put in the tank and now it's time to go to the beach for an afternoon swim this is the good part of living in the tropics the bad part you just saw it Flamingos. 
here I am on the island of Margarita. Beautiful morning. Earlier in the video, I talked to you guys about the craziness of how the water pump works and how the water system works in the house. And right now, I want to talk to you guys about the car. Now, the car is a wild story. It was originally bought by us new. We had it for like about 20 years. It's about a 20 year old car. Um, in any other country, any country normal, like the States, Canada, Germany, wherever, this car would be 100% illegal to drive on the road. It has a lot of broken things on it. Um, I'm gonna go buy some bread, and while we're driving to the bakery, I'm gonna show you guys some of the broken things the car has. I don't know if you guys in the background can hear those birds. That's every single morning from like 6 a.m. to around 7:38. You get these birds are going crazy. Sometimes they stand in all these trees that are over my house, all around my house actually, um, and they're really annoying. But at the same time, they're really cute and really beautiful, and they give like something really tropical about the area we're living in. Anyway, back to the car. So now I'm going to show you guys the process of turning the car. It's funny. You need to have a pair of pliers because the key is broken. No, but I don't like to give it much. But when you put it on the floor. here in a country like this having a running car so there's a lot of people here around here who don't have the money to have a running car or don't have a running car at all there also is a lot of people who have brand new cars um, but yeah those people I don't know where they get the money from <laughs> So, um, yeah, peace out, bros. See you at the next one. <laughs> <laughs> 